I feel like classical music is an incredible window into the soul. It's just our raw emotions and responses to this music just shared in real time without pretense. I'm Andrew Armstrong, Artistic Director of Chamber Music on Main here at the Columbia Museum of Art in beautiful Columbia, South Carolina. So the visual arts are a language and when we stand in front of a Van Gogh self-portrait and his eyes are piercing into our soul, this is a way that we connect. Similarly in music, when James and I play the Franck Violin Sonata, you will hear the, the turmoil and the struggle within Cesar Franck's breast. All of these art forms are just about reaching across the ether and making contact. You know, every year you set out to do the best you can do. This year, everything just fell as ideally as it could possibly fall. So we're gonna have a sextet, six players on stage, French horn, clarinet, violin, viola, cello, piano. Phil Meyer's on the French horn, principal French horn of the New York Philharmonic for decades, a legend. That's November, our January concert is kind of two concerts in one because half will be the famous Franck Violin Sonata with James, the other half, Mazorsky's Pictures at an Exhibition, which is perfect for our series. March, a new trio that I formed with two favorites of this series, Amy Schwartz Moretti on violin and Rafe Bell. And then finally, the final concert of the year, unbelievably, and we have the Ennis Quartet. This group, they play the greatest halls across Europe, in Paris and in London and Canada and North America and the Columbia Museum of Art this year. To our loyal audience and, and to newcomers as well, you don't know how much you mean, not just to me, but to each of the visiting artists. They talk to me about the effect that, that it has on them to stand on the stage, to sit on the stage, and to feel your energy. It, it's such a two-way street, and you'll never know how much it means to us.